Hey guys, so it was about 18 months since I left my kids back home and came to Canada to start my studies. Here's me heading back home to go get them after 18 months, a year and six months to be precise. So yeah, finally got my bags, headed to the airport. Um, Yeah, I had so much mixed feelings, you know, because leaving toddlers back home, like my second baby was just an infant, he's not even a toddler. He wasn't even a toddler, so I had so so much mixed feelings going home. Um, yeah, that's it. So, follow me through my journey, guys. So, I checked myself in and grabbed some Tim Hortons, you know, one for the road, <laughs> and that's me flaunting my passport. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't know what to think, what to expect, you know. from babies who barely called me mom so this is me just heading home keen up for my boarding it was time to board guys this was a 6 a.m flight 6 a.m in the morning so so many people were just sleepy finally got my window seat and i'm heading out to vancouver mm. So that's the plane taking off guys as you can see it was raining like it was a rainy morning that's a view my view just so you know i enjoyed window seats like to like go to abuja nigeria and this is me landing in vancouver and walking out through the exit and finally Getting into the finest airport in Canada. I don't know. You can prove me wrong. I can tell you guys. If you've never ever been to Vancouver Airport. Like Vancouver Airport is it's like. It's like a tourist center. I can say that. For sure. Vancouver Airport is it's like a tourist center. Like you can literally spend. um, Say. Three hours just going through the airport. You know, lots of beautiful places to see. Um, there are lots of activities in the at the airport right there. So, guys, this is me heading to the aquatic center. Like, there's this um, mermaid stuff they have. You can see um, lots of fish, you know, just um, moving around in there. Different kinds, though. And they had this, <laughs> is it like an official well or something where people drop coins? Like you can just throw your coin in there. I'm like, there are dozens of coins, like, I don't know, maybe thousands inside that little well you can see. Um, Yeah, I just stood here for a moment and just admired, you know, the gift of humans, like human beings constructed all of this. And it's actually like I was amazed, man. Welcome I'm always to amazed airport. when I see, you know, architectural jobs properly executed. This place is such a beauty. Like, hmm. you can literally relax here for a moment and you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know you spent all the time in the world. Guys, I can't wait to see the look on my boys' faces when I get to Ninja. <laughs> so after about five hours layover time, man, we're heading to Frankfurt right now. That's me on my window seat again. <laughs> man... I didn't book my seats ahead of time, but I just got so lucky. Like, every single time I got into the plane, I had a window seat. And we're just taking off. Taking off from Vancouver to Frankfurt. This is where I had the best, you know, meal in the plane. These guys had this their Italian pasta, and I finished it. You can see my empty plate. Like, I ate it all up. And this is me just enjoying my window views, you know. 
I'm always the first to know when we land. So this is right now in Germany, Frankfurt to be precise. This airport is another blue. You can see this um train, this monorail train. Um, uh, this train was just moving on you know, like there was no driver, no conductor, and the train was just moving. You know, like Frankfurt is another beautiful place. This is me heading to Abuja. Finally landing in Abuja, actually. Okay, so I didn't have much videos between Frankfurt and Abuja. It was just a six-hour flight, though. And I was super excited. This is me heading out from the airport. Um, My husband's friend came to pick me up. And this is me just heading out of the airport. It was a rainy night in Abuja. Guys, I ate suya. <laughs> Beef kebabs. And I ate this mama put hot rice. Like I told I told my husband's friend to please buy me jollof rice from you know this three women who prepare good food. And then I was just heading out of Abuja to Imo State Aware. That's my hometown, guys. So <laughs> Guys, I cried. I couldn't hold it, man. My boys were already grown. See how tall this boy is. Like, I was so excited to see my guys. You guys have no idea. We love you, boy. Let me clap. So, so Grandpa is your friend. I'm not your friend. Eh? Actually, my friend. You're Grandpa. my friend, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I'm your friend too. I'm my friend. I'm not your friend. I'm my friend. Tell me who's Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> Tell me who's your friend. Dave Dave. Tell me who's your friend. Grandpa is your friend. Grandpa is your friend. Mm. Don't, don't, don't mind him. I can see you. Daniel is drinking that. Yeah, I can see Daniel. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, talk. See, we are finally home. We're finally home. We're finally home. Can you see? Finally. Guys, you can see my mom welcomed me with hot pepper soup. Haha. <laughs> and that's my grandma so excited to see me. And she was just, you know, blessing me and thanking God for my life and for Johnny Macy's. My grandma, she's a special woman. And these are my boys with their dad, my big boy. You know, their first time, you know, coming outside in Canada after they arrived in Canada. Guys, I couldn't vlog my return trip. You know why? I had two toddlers who were both under four years. Ha! Man, if you ever travel with toddlers under four, don't try this. Don't try this. Don't travel alone with two boys under four years. Like.